Okay. Mm, I want to go to the next refugee's cave, but I don't want to go too near to the Strega's crypt. And so I think maybe I'll just go to the old manor first. Whatever that is. What is that supposed to be anyway? I'm not sure. Uh, how do we get out? Here. So that's the bridge. Nope. We want to go this way instead and avoid all the drowners. Oh my god. Old manor. Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. Old Manor. Oh, Count the Wet. What? The old manor was built long ago and served as the seat of Temeria's rulers until Princess Ada, the daughter of King Foltis and his sister, died at birth and returned to life as a bloodthirsty Striga. The king did not want to kill his own offspring, so he and his court moved to the newly built castle. The princess was later freed from the curse, but the manor remained vacant and deteriorated over time. Everything seems to indicate that this long-forgotten place has become a hideout and base of operations for Salamandra. Ah, okay, I see. Their old castle. Foltest's castle? The castle was completed around the time when King Foltest's previous seat was taken over by Estriga, the product of the ruler's incestuous affair with his own sister. Spacious stone halls, stained glass windows, and vaulted ceilings indicate that dwarven engineering was employed here. King Foltest is a very active ruler and often travels, though when in Vizima, he usually occupies his chambers and generally remains in the castle with his modest court. In the throne room, the king grants audiences to his subjects, be they petitioners or trusted advisors. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going back to that castle area again. Doesn't seem like there's a way for us to go back anyway. Old Vizima. Surrounded by its low palisade, Old Vizima conjures the spirit of yesteryear, when even the capitals of powerful nations looked like makeshift collections of wooden, thatched huts, and their streets were filled with hens and dirty children. Relocating his seat from the old manor in the royal castle, King Foltis began the long process of converting Vizima from a wooden village into a brick town. The war was merciless to old Vizima's inhabitants. At its end, the area became something of a ghetto for non-humans. Assimilated elves and dwarves were forced to settle, where even the poor did not want to live. Currently, Old Vizima is in an arena of skirmishes between Knights of the Order and the Skoyatel. Mm -hmm. Swamp Cemetery When the royal court was at the Old Manor, the marshes around the structure were regularly dried and cleared of monsters, an old cemetery dating back to elven times occupies a good portion of the area. Currently, Vizima's main necropolis lies within its walls, and the Swamp Cemetery has turned into a dangerous, haunted place. Entrances to numerous crypts have been flooded by muddy water, and numerous unpleasant creatures lurk among the stinking vapors. Nevertheless, refugees from Old Vizima have found shelter in small caves which litter the marshes. There's so much fighting in Old Vizima that people can't even live there anymore. They would rather live in a swamp. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, there's multiple people here. Oh. What's up, Dewet? No one is allowed to pass. Grandmaster's orders. Care to make an exception? Are you mad, Witcher? Perhaps, but I see you've been promoted. What do you mean? The Grandmaster gave you the coveted mission of guarding this neck of the swamp. What did you say? You cannot provoke me, Witcher. You shall not pass without good reason. Hmm... We know that this place probably has Salamandra here, and we know that Count the Wet is probably working with the Salamandra with Ada. Is that why you're not letting me pass? Can I talk to the other two? Oh god damn it. Okay. No care to make Are you what the grand what? Fine, fine. I guess we'll just have to come back later then. Okay. We will try to wrap around and go to the other refugees' cave. By the way, the 
The fist fighting guy is supposed to be in the swamp cemetery too, so if we look around here enough, we should probably find him somewhere. Oh my god. There's a lot of guys here. Just just walk past. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot of fool's parsley around. I didn't have to buy it for the elder, but whatever. It's not like I have a shortage of money. I gotta remember to try to find him the other stuff, although judging by what he gave me in exchange for the fool's parsley, I don't think it's gonna be anything substantial. Circle of Mute Thunder. Oh, hold on. Refugee's Cave. Striga. Oh, it's somewhere here. Oh, it's right here! Alright. But we can't go in, of course. Wow, look at Igni now! It can kill people without me even doing anything aside from burning them. Come on. Oh, these... Come on, these guys. Explode. Thank you. Good enough? Can I not go in? Third cousin? Third cousin! Again, why is he a- Oh, he's not alone here. There's other refugees. They burned my house down, destroyed all my property. What shall I do? Curious. What the heck is the king doing? I'm going to Redania, where they've tamed the non-humans. Oh. Hmm. In Redania, non-humans and humans live in peace? Oh. Take notes, Tamaria. I should try that. The third cousin. At the last, Antoinette certainly took her time. Where is my gold? Who are you? Antoinette's cousin. You must be her messenger. Is that how you greet all strangers? Oh, enough games. No one normal ventures into the swamp these days. Where is my gold? <laughs> what if I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. This guy's pretty rude for someone who is looking for help. Here. Thanks. Finally, I can return home. With 300 orans? Okay. I need to see the mercenary Captain in Vizima to collect my reward. You've helped me. Yes, a thank you would be very good. Not much here, again. Something is rotten in the we state of Temeria. Time to emigrate. Yeah, Why if the king can't that? control the situation, that would probably be wise. Oh. Oh, this cave has... Oh, what's going on here? Wayfarer's stone. Oh, who is that? I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I can't... Mm. I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. Maybe it's for a quest later. Hello? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I'm for some time now. Renowned fist fighter. They say you have no name. Call me Zdenek for now. Zdenek. You don't look like a famous boxer. So you say? Care to challenge me? Good guess. Ready to fight? I have a question. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> but... Fight or shove off! Oh. Zdenek. Alright. He looks like the Reverend. Certainly doesn't look like a guy who is really good at fist fighting. Do we want to prepare in any way? We don't need a swallow potion for this guy, right? I don't think so. Ready to fight? Always. Swing away, then. It's just me and you. It's very dark here, though. Having some trouble seeing. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I can hardly see here. Maybe I should have taken a cat's potion. He's actually hitting me for quite a bit here. If you look at my health bar. Does being a better fist fighter mean that you do more damage with every every punch? Or does it mean that you're more skilled with your technique? 
I don't know. That's, uh, I guess that's up for debate. Did we get him? I think we got him, but I can't see because it's so dark. It's so dark that I can't even see Geralt's white hair. Congratulations. Only a few have ever beaten me. A few? They said you were undefeated. Only because I reserve the right for a rematch each time. None has beaten me twice. Bring it on. Another time. I'm tired. <laughs> you can do that. Just rest. The champion and I are scheduled for a rematch. Are you gonna cheat in your rematch? Because otherwise, I don't see how you're gonna beat me. One fight per day. I'm old and tired. And now we know why there's a fireplace here. <laughs> Alright. Let's just get you out of the way. One full day? Why not? Now you can't complain. What will this earn me? A title. Reputation. That I'm the best fist fighter of all time. Do you want to move into the light a little bit? Because I find it hard to see over there. <laughs> Ready to fight? Always. Swing away then. Okay. Want to come here? Whoa, whoa, he's... I can't move. Come over here, into the light. Yeah, thank you, thank you. His swings are actually doing the same range of damage as me. Roughly. No, I'm hitting him a little bit more. And he probably doesn't have as much health as I do, because I'm a witcher and all. That was even easier than the first time. My tooled! Where's my tooled? Right here in my hand, I'm afraid. Ah, keep it! You beat me a second time! A true fist! Not surprising. You're pretty quick. The champion acknowledged my victory. I'm now the world's best fist fighter. Also the poker champion. I'm basically the best. In every way possible. One fight per day. I'm old and tired. Okay. Well, that was, uh, it's nice to meet you. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Is there something here? Guess I should go back and have a look. Wayfarer Stone. We should remember that something like this is here. Probably... Yeah, we probably have to come back later, don't we? Oh no, it's just this, isn't it? It's not anything. <laughs> Entering new region corridor, but you can't really... <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Did you meet anyone who might be Antoinette's messenger? Hmm. No. If you meet the messenger, tell him I await. I will. You mean me? I'll use my influences at court. I think he might be talking about me, but, uh, guess they didn't expect me to talk to him twice. Okay, well, I think that might be it for things of interest And in Whoa, is that a freaking- there was a drowner right in front of me. We could go to the crypt, or we could go to the old mine. Let's try going to the old mine. A marker there, and we'll get going. Up there. That's probably near the crypt. Oh, excuse me, everybody. All I want to do is go to the old mine. Really shouldn't have sold off my talisman, huh? Am I even going the right way anymore? I don't think so. Oh, God. It's too many. Over here. This way? Yup. No? Here. Ooh. You know it's a mine because they have a random contraption here. <laughs> Thank you. No? Mine entrance. 
I don't think we were told by anybody to go into a mine yet. Holy crap. Whoa! No! No! Spiders! Poisonous spiders! Die, please! Still? Oh. Oh, there's a lot of these guys here. That's a person. Hmm. The Kikimors. They've been getting the people here. No, I don't even have room for that. Uh, I'll drop the eye. I only have one eye. Cockatrice feather? Aether? Oh, I have plenty of other Aether ingredients. Drop that too. Yes. Oh, is that a body on this? God. Can we just rip all of you guys at once? I think we might have to use a cat potion here. It's quite dark. Or we can light up all these spiders. Literally burning the spiders with fire. Ho! Ho! Flutters. What is this place? An old mine? Well, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. Aw. Mining for ores? Another Wayfarer's stone. Oh. We might have to do a little bit of backtracking later. We haven't found the notes of the elven minstrel yet, so in one of these caves, any day now, we could be coming across them. Where do you come from? The sky? We're all here? Yeah, after I put some points into the um, use less endurance for Igni. I can do a few more now, in a row. Without waiting for my stamina or uh, my endurance to come back. Okay, you must be guarding something pretty cool here. Wow, 40 orans. Pretty much nothing of value. <laughs> I know that's worth a lot. Let's pick it up. Yeah, we don't want this. Whatever. Sure. Sure. There's not much here. At all. I can walk around with the torch. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. There's a little bit less here than what I was expecting. Yeah. The Wayfarer Stone. Now we know of two locations that have them. Oops. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I guess we're done here. Time to face Ada. We can probably either kill or choose to spare Ada. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. It'll depend on what happens. I mean, probably I'm gonna just spare her. Just because we were able to spare her the first time around. So if we could help Foltis save his daughter, I would like to do that. Yeah, not much going on here. Let's get to the crypt. Oh, there's another camp on the land. Okay. Alright. Let's find a way to actually get onto the land first. Jeez. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, that's the strip of land we're talking about here, right? But how do we... From where do we actually set foot onto it? Because it's pretty high up. I guess we'll just circle around the whole thing. Velorad. Hmm, I don't see any bridges. And it makes sense because they want it to be high enough such that the drowners can't come up. What about the bridge here? Can we somehow use the bridge to get on? Well, it's not like we can jump anyway. <laughs> no, we just gotta find where the, the opening is. Okay, well, it's it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, looking kind of hopeful here. Maybe like here? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh. Whoa, all these shadows and... Okay. Are these graves? What are these? 
Ooh. Oh, well, Swamp Cemetery. Gee, I wonder if there are graves or not. <laughs> okay. I guess this is where they put the royal people when they die? Or is it just for anybody? Sir, have you seen my son? He has straw-colored hair, freckles on his nose, a child, twelve winters to him. Sorry, I haven't. I've been burning fires here to lead him through the mists. Oh, my dear son. I hope you find him. I seek the Striga that has its lair somewhere around here. Sir, you see that old church on the hill? The Striga lives in the crypt. She awakes at night and roams about in search of blood. She leaves you alone? Once she came for me, I didn't run, for I light this fire to guide my son through the night. The monster hesitated, then ran on. Since then, she's avoided me. Interesting. But I saw her catch a man once. Horrifying. Tell me. Wow, fancy. I wonder if the Striga retains any memories of her human her human memories yeah it seems like she might still have some humanity in her if she's hesitating to kill people i have set my neighbors home ablaze and cut them to bits i've decided to flee the city they tried to draft me into the army luckily king foltest has returned You'll put those non-humans back on their leashes. Rightly so. Know what I'll tell you? Oh my god. The dog died. This guy's a little slow. <laughs> What's it doing? Whoa. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. What happened? Pain. Uh, I don't know where I just got pain. It might be, um, <laughs> I'm guessing what happened is um, they couldn't figure out a way to do the cutscene properly. So they had me be in pain so that I could be in the same place without, um, without the cutscene screwing up. Okay, well, the Striga grabbed the body and went into the the building here okay oh kind sir your son blonde freckles am i supposed to look for him seen any squirrels nearby no they've all gone to vizima cursed non-humans what did we ever do to them I found a place nearby where those sons of whores took a human and tortured him. They buried the poor soul up to his neck and covered his head in syrup. Nearby was an ant hill with red ants as big as your thumb. I can imagine the rest. Oh, kind sir. Hmm. Farewell. I'm trying to think about this whole Squiatel versus Order thing a little bit. So before oh, the war damn, broke out... It's hot in this thing. The... The norm in Old Vizima, and Vizima in general, is that elves, dwarves, and humans were sort of living in peace. Maybe they had their racist arguments once in a while, but it's not like an all-out war. The Order Damn, people were already in the town to begin with. So the Skoyatel are the invading force. If we think about it like that, then I feel like Skoyatel... Would you, could you say that they disrupt the peace more than Damn, the Order? Because the Order were there to begin with. Like, the Skoyatel... 
We don't really have any details, but I guess they're the ones who started it by coming into here. But they started it because Damn, they were feeling really thing. unfairly treated and all. I'll never give a non-human another job. Yeah, these people really hate the non-humans. I'm going to Redania, where they've tamed the non-humans. Tamed. Thing. Like they're not even people. Okay, well, thank you for your Striga story. Uh, your son. Do you actually expect me to find him? I must go to the crypt after dusk and face the Striga and spend the night with her. I need to find the notes of an elven minstrel. Oh, well, looks like we're in the same place. Okay, cool. A magic formula. Yes, I gotta find a whole bunch of stuff. The notes of an elven minstrel? An Agnes of Glanville's magic formula. I have the armor pieces already. Oh! Hold on. Oh! I need to find a stone sensitive to magic. Is that the Wayfarer stone? A combination of the Ard Igni Ard sign will open the passage. Oh, that's what it was! I knew I was gonna forget what Kalkstein told me. Dang! Ard Igni Ard. Okay, we'll go back to the stone after we deal with the Striga here then. No problem. Yes, Triss is the love of my life. Mud and Velvet. I gotta see the mercenary captain in Vizima to collect my reward. So back to old Vizima for this one. Sweet revenge. I have to go on. Oh, that's Shani. Okay. Alright. There is a fireplace here, so we can probably very easily make it nighttime. Greetings, Geralt. Faltes asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Faltest well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Faltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me. I thought we have to wait until after dark first. Nothing but war and war. Nasty beasts. I'm glad they're dead. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Yeah. All right. I'll grab the blessing here really quickly, and I'll I'll be with you, Velorad. No, nope, never mind. Apparently, we can't go through here. Forget it. <laughs> Do you just want me to come now? It's still... Uh, damn, it's still it's one o'clock. Okay. Where's Velorad? <laughs> I don't want to use the cat potion yet because we might have to make it nighttime first. How many do I have? How many do I have? Where's the cat potion? Where did my potion go? Two. I have two. Ugh, there's creepy noises in here already. Oh, well, that's... That's lovely. Why are there two skeletons here? Velorad? Did he just forget about me? Oh, the elven minstrel sarcophagus. Perfect. It's very creepy here. We should probably use a cat potion. Yes. Nothing jumping out. Nothing here. All right. It's eerily quiet here. Usually we would be drowning in monsters by now. All I need now is Agnes de Glanville's magic formula. Which we will probably find if we do the Ard Signy Ard thing at the Wayfarer Stone. But there were two. Oh, there's another one here. Oh. Do we want to try it out here, then? 
Yellow meteorite. All right. What was the order? Is this even the right stone? I'm not sure, but we'll give it a try. Wait, did you just take away the... The combination? <laughs> Wait. The combination is here. Right, okay. I can access the sorceress's underground laboratory through a cave where some refugees have found shelter. A stone sensitive to magic. Ard Igni Ard. Do I even have that much endurance? Ard? Igni? Ard. That's not working. I should try a different combination. Oh! So we have to figure out the order ourselves too. When it says a combination of, it just means that that's what we need to use, but it doesn't give us the right order. Oh, okay. That, that kind of changes things. We might be better off using a potion here just because there's so, there's so many different um, combinations and we have to keep waiting. Maybe uh, water? Yes, water would be good. Thank you. Okay, what did we try just now? Ard, Igni, Ard? Yes, I gotta write this down. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Ard, Igni, Ard. Well, let's try Ard, Ard, Igni. Oh! <laughs> Lucky! Oh. Okay. Oh, we get taken to a different place every time we do that then? A secret passage? Alright. What are we expecting here? Are we expecting to find the Striga here? Or is this part of the armor thing? Yeah, I feel like this is probably part of the the armor thing here. I have no idea where Velorat disappeared off into. That was kind of weird. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. That's real fancy. Hey, my cat potion. Still here. Okay. Whoa, these are like ancient torture tools. Ah! It looks pretty recently used, to be honest. Alright. Alright. Do you know how I can tell it's recently used? The torches are lit! <laughs> Hello? Kind of a big place. Sort of. Who is St. Gregory? Ooh, there's a place of power here too. Maybe this person was a great sorcerer. And that's why we're coming in here. Oh, I can't get it. Ah. Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever. Vaud and Runestone. St. Gregory's Litany. A prayer to the eternal fire written on a piece of old crumbling parchment. Eternal fire, fill my heart with valor. Eternal fire, cleanse me of villainy. Eternal fire, consume me if I am unworthy. We are born and we die in flames. Blessed are those who blaze in the eternal fire. Steel is tempered in flames. Metal is forged in flames. The eternal fire shields us from the wicked. It is our armor, forged of righteousness and sacrifice. Thus it is achieved, firstly, by reunification. Hmm. And this is just a normal place of power like any other. Hmm. We got...
So maybe the thing is that we're just going into random tombs right now, but the one tomb that we're really looking for is the one of Agnes de Glansville. But it's not this one, so we're gonna have to backtrack into one of the other two and hope that we find it there. Oh, it's like a secret passageway. They've hidden their tomb behind a magical combination. A magical combination that you can use Witcher's parlor tricks to get into. <laughs> can we go back? Do we have to do it again? What was it? Ard Ard Igni? Oh, that's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty... We actually have to use a lot of endurance for that. Ugh. Okay, now that we're back into the normal crypt, why does it keep defaulting to the world map? It's so strange. Again, it's still kind of weird how there's pretty much nothing here. That's the exit. What the heck is that noise? It's leaking! Nobody's here. The last wish. No, alcohol. You know I can't not take alcohol. Unknown oil. Wow. There's still stuff that we don't know about yet. Okay. Okay, you know what? We gotta not take the fruit. There's too much random crap here. Basilisk hide, whatever. Fine. But not the fruits, okay? Not <laughs> candy or whatever. Ostrid's journal. The journal of the man responsible for Ada being born a Striga. Oh. The first time around. I curse you, Foltis, and hope you rot amidst worms in hell. I curse your incestuous deeds. Your sister Ada deserved better. Oh, was the sister also named Ada? I completely forgot. I implore destiny to render the child born of your lechery as monstrous as you. If the witch spoke truly, you will soon taste my vengeance. I need only prepare the ingredients and utter the words thrice. Some say that not even the words are necessary, that hatred alone suffices. Know that my hatred is fierce. On the margins, someone made notes as of researching how to renew the curse of the Striga. Wow. If we only need to make a potion and say some words three times, that's really, really easy. Someone must have... Someone must have dug this up and looked into how to do it. Princess Ada was born a Striga and as a result of Ostrid's curse. The magnate was in love with the king's sister and Ada's mother, whose name was also Ada. When he learned of the incestuous relationship between the king and his sister, Ostrid put a curse on the king and described the process in his diary. Whoever possesses the diary may renew the curse and transform Ada back into a Striga. Wow, it kind of sucks to be Ada because the way to renew the curse is so easy. It's not hard at all. Who would want to do it though? Hmm. Princess is Ada's enemies. Maybe the easiest one to think about is Azar Javid. Because earlier, back when we were fighting, oh, what was it? The Queen Kikimor? We found a letter from the professor, oh there he is, that said something like, oh, we needed to ally with Ada because she, we can find some information about the kingdom from her. We can take control of the kingdom via Ada, but she's kind of unstable. So maybe this is Azar Javid wanting to end the partnership and wanting to shut Ada up. Although why he wouldn't just kill her outright, that's a bit of a mystery. The gate is locked. First resolve the problem with the beastie. You understand? Safety precautions. It's not even nighttime here yet. <laughs> the gate is locked. First resolve the problem with the beastie. You understand? Oh. Safety. Oh. One still has meat and the other one is just a skeleton. Okay. Well, we don't actually see a striga in here, although we've been to the entire place already, haven't we? I think so. Maybe what we need to do is make it nighttime. 
Can we read the thing again? I must go there after dusk and face her. I can also try lifting the curse that holds her. To do that, I must remain near her sarcophagus until daybreak, somehow survive the night. That actually sounds pretty hard, cause... It's not that I'm afraid of dying, but we're just gonna have to walk around and hope that she doesn't kill us for the entire duration until daybreak? That's a lot of minutes. That's a lot of hours. Well, I guess we'll just have to see how it is. Her sarcophagus, which one is it? Is it the one with the... Because there's multiple in here. Is it this one? How do we know? I guess we don't. Well, the important thing is that we don't kill her. I think that's the important thing here, so we'll just take it from that. Talent, one, two, one. One, two, one. Bronze, just stick it somewhere. <laughs> Sure, hexing. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Silver? Do we want to put some silver one? Mm -hmm. I guess at this point it doesn't really matter anymore because I'm just... Yeah, I can... I think I'll probably be able to kill anything just because I'm a little... I'm a little too near end game now. Damage plus 30? Damage plus 60? Knockdown. Yeah, that's good. Knockdown is always good. I have them mirrored. Between all the styles, I have the exact same things put into the points. Dang. <laughs> okay. How about the art? We haven't looked at it for a while. It could be useful. Igni? Attack from a distance. I really don't think we need that, especially because we got the 360 thing now. Raises chance of incineration. Huh. But only with the group silver style. Fear? Okay. Sure. Sure. And then one gold talent. Duration of incineration. Base sign intensity? That would really help with my Igni. Although, I would be putting one gold point into every attribute. Is that good? I feel like that's probably a bad thing, because we're not specializing enough. I want this one, though. I really do. Eh, okay, sure. Whatever. Yeah, that looks good on the outside until you actually click into the tree. <laughs> okay. Anything else we're looking for here? I don't think so. Did we have to make some potions? For killing Ada? Or, not killing her, but to help in the fight. Syncrid oil? That's what Kalkstein mentioned earlier, right? Oh, yeah, we should make another cat potion, because we just ate one. Oh, and the fact that we're gonna... We're gonna sleep here, we're gonna meditate. That might mean that we have to make another cat potion. Dagon Sap. True Grit Strength Upgrade. Okay. Insectoid Oil. If we're fighting Ada, Ooh, vampire oil. That might be good for fighting the vampire boss later on. Werewolf's wrath. Oh. Willow. Willow. We should probably drink one before we fight Ada. I think that's pretty much all we're looking for here. Maybe we can disable Ada? Yeah, I'm not sure how to draw out the time, but uh... Like I said, we'll just we'll just go by how it however it goes. Okay. Dusk. Until daybreak. That's a full 12 hours. Do they actually want me to just hang around doing nothing for a full 12 hours? Not nothing, but they want me to not kill her, but be around here for 12 hours? That seems really hard. Well, whatever. I guess we'll figure it out. It might be better for us to move it a little bit further because that's less time until daybreak, isn't it? <laughs> In fact, wouldn't it be best if we put it, like, here? I don't think it would work, though. I'll just have a try like this. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe, like, that? <laughs> we have plenty of potions that we can help us with. 
Swallow? Willow? Yeah, we lost the cat effects. God dang it. Let's find Ada first. Do we hear her? That's the exit. Ooh. There she is. Let's try and see if we cannot kill her. Hold on. Hold on, okay, Ada? I am going to take a willow potion. Willow potion. Yes, this one. <laughs> Ouch. Doesn't mean we're not in pain, though. Oh, I think we'll need to use the Swallow Potion. Look at how fast my health is going by. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Calm down. Ugh, I'm hurt right now. Does she get hurt when I do Ard? I don't think so. How do I... Do I really just have to survive here? Because it seems really excessive. But I don't know how to... Oh! Don't let her go back in! If we're following the novels, then we can't let her go back into the... the coffin. Y yes? Oh! One of the candles went out! I think that's what the cutscene was showing. I guess we'll just keep trying and see... How this goes? If we hang around here long enough. I'm surprised the art is not taking off the candles. <laughs> yeah, we'll just... Yeah, we're just gonna circle around here and hope it all works out. Ah! It'll be dawn soon. If I'm to kill her, I don't have much time left. Okay, we don't actually have to stay here for the full 12 hours. Good. We just have to survive. In fact, I don't even think we need a swallow potion, as long as we don't get hit. <laughs> it's like hide and seek the whole time. And maybe we'll... Ard... Yeah, when we do Ard, it seems like her health is completely okay still, so it's okay. Ooh, we can even look around and see if... Um... Oh, we've been here already! Yeah, it's just that it wasn't during dusk earlier, so we didn't see her. Any time now. <laughs> it's actually only half an hour past midnight. Time's gotta go by faster, man. Is that the bell of daybreak? Three candles are down. Two more to go? Okay. We just gotta make sure we don't accidentally kill her. We wanna find out the truth. So I think not killing the Striga will help us find that, because if we... If we can get her to return to Ada again, then maybe she can tell us a bit about who cursed her. And probably more information about how much she told other people. Cause you know, she betrayed the whole kingdom and all. But I feel like for Foltis to continue being the king, Ada does make it kind of difficult. Everyone's always gonna be gossiping about how he had, you know, he had a child with his sister and it's a monster, blah blah blah. Not that you really have to care about gossip, but it makes it hard to keep ruling. The sun is rising. Just a few moments more and the Striga's spell will be broken.
Because your opponents will use that as a as a thing against you. Just a little bit more. One little candle. Is there anything? Any potions I can take to prevent pain? Because right now, I can't be knocked down, but I can still feel pain. Gosh, so much pain. Oh! Oh! No, 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 stay away from me. Are we good? Wow, she even has clothing. It's great. Ada. Okay. I must now speak with Ada. Now free her of the spell that held her. And the last time we did this, we let our guard down and she... She swiped my neck and almost killed me. That's not gonna happen again, right? <laughs> I... Where am I? Ada. You all right? What happened? It's over. You're well again. Geralt. I love that she still has her crown. <laughs> the underwear, fine. I can I can accept that. But the crown. <laughs> Do you feel all right? Yes. Better. I need to ask you about Salamandra. Oh, Geralt. That terrible professor. It's his fault. Yeah. He tricked me, promised me power and glory. I haven't seen any salamander since he was killed. The professor couldn't have created those mutants. Did he ever mention a mage? He came here once with this repulsive man, Abdul or something. The professor called him a powerful sorcerer. That's all I know. Know where I might find him? Unfortunately not. The old Don't manor. Don't worry, you're safe. I'll take you home. Oh, my hands. They're covered in blood. I killed murdered so many people oh it wasn't your fault don't think about that it's behind you i remember through a fog it was important i concealed something in the sarcophagus you must see it all right i will hold me Geralt. i feel so cold it's this crypt we should go you'll feel better outside it's because you're not wearing anything that's why it's cold did you want me to look in here no? I thought you said you want me to... Okay. I have proof. Now to get out of this damn crypt. Oh, do you mean the proof is the, the diary? Yes, we found the journal. The journal details many spells and proves almost conclusively that someone intentionally recast a curse. Was that really something we needed to prove though? Because I thought we already established that no one... Like the curse doesn't cast itself, somebody had to do it again. <laughs> Want to talk? I'm cold. <laughs> Shove it, lady. <laughs> Apparently that's what Geralt's thinking. Velorad. Now you're not here when I actually need you? Okay. Hey, Ada. Oh, even my cat potion is gone. Fuck. Right. God, she's really chilling here. It's just taking forever to get over here. So was that confirmation that... Oh, she got her clothing. Was that confirmation that the professor slash Azar Javid was the one who cursed her then? Abdul something? Oh, damn, it's hot in this thing. And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Velorad. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders. Wow. The princess is freed. Ada, Velorad will take you home. Which, uh, second time I underestimated you. Third time's a charm. Faltus gave me something for you in the event that you survived. <laughs> this is the devil, a Zerikanian scimitar. The legends say it was tempered in dragon's blood. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Yeah. Fine. Is that all? The king said if you want to cure the disease, 
You must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. I do? Oh no! The king has rewarded me. A fine sword it is. I gotta drop more swords on the ground. Whoa, I can't even... I can't even pronounce that. Hold on. This is the one that I had previously. I think I would rather have the red meteorite sword in the backup slot, so I'm gonna throw that one away instead. Okay. This one, damage plus 30%, chance of pain, and this arm, 50-25. Eh, I mean, damage-wise, pure damage-wise, probably the one I have right now is even better, but sure, we'll, we'll try it out for a little bit. Arundite and Debetal, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. We really gotta go back and clear out some of the, the crap we have going on here. I think somebody mentioned in the comment that we'll be getting even more weapons as rewards as we continue moving forward. So I'll really have to be keeping in mind which ones, which one's good and which one's bad and all that good stuff. But for now, farewell meteorite sword that I didn't manage to sell. God. Why are we going to the old manor? <laughs> Apparently, I know. What did I do to you? Geralt. Do you feel all right? Yes. Better. I need to ask you about Salamandra. Oh, Geralt. That terrible professor. It's his fault. Oh, it's he the same thing. He tricked me, promised me power. The professor couldn't have... He came here one... Nowhere. Unfortunately. Hey, remember how you were trying to kill me before I left for Murky Waters? Oh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Yeah, I remember that too. Nothing but war and war. Oh, it's actually kind of nice to come out here, thing. out of the crypt, and you see the sunlight, daybreak, with the moon still behind us, and holy crap, that's a lot of drowners. Okay, well, I guess we're just leaving oh, the sword here. Damn, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. Something is rotten in the state of Temeria. Time to emigrate. Oh, kind sir. Did you see? I saved Ada. Farewell. I guess you don't care. Because it's not your son. Understandable. Do I want to go to the manor now? Or do I want to go back to old Vizima first? I want to... We don't have an inn. If we want to go back to an inn... We might have to walk all the way back to Dandelion. Holy crap. Well, let's go back to Old Vizima first, just in case if anything's changed. Ooh, look at my sword. It's like all jaggedy and stuff. Stop him! What? Oh, damn, it's hot in this thing. What did I do? Sorry? Did I scare you with my sword? Yeah, I remember very, very long time ago. In chapter one, I accidentally attacked a merchant. So that's that's a thing that's possible. It's just that I haven't done it so far, which is probably a good thing, but I gotta be mindful of not accidentally murdering people around here. Yeah, the sword I'm carrying right now, it looks cool and all, but I'm still thinking about how it's 10% damage less than the one I had, the one I was using before. Well, we'll see if the pain and this arm are really that good.